License and subscription, please. Oh, you're one of the 50% that are not subscribed? We're gonna have to take you away! You guys remember Boxy? Dude, I think for many of us, she was our first love on the internet. She just was. She was there for us, we cared about her. What happened? To Boxy. On the 3rd of January 2008, a 16-year-old girl from California by the name of Katie Wayne would upload two unassuming video blogs titled For Ant from Boxy and For Addy from Boxy to her personal YouTube channel, Boxy Babe. <laughs> now, I was like 11, chat. My name is Boxy. Most of you know. The videos were made with the goal of simply saying hello to two people people she had been Good playing video. online games with. However, unbeknownst to her at the time, they would simultaneously make her one of the most recognizable faces in internet history. But this no. recognizability would be somewhat short-lived, as Boxy would become progressively less active on social media until June 2017 when she would post a final video and completely disappear off YouTube. She's Jay alive! Alexander put it well under one of Boxy's videos. It's so sad seeing YouTubers disappear. Is this how it ends? Boxy's accidental accumulation of fame began in 2000. 2008 with nothing but an internet forum. Gaia Online was its name. An anime themed what? role playing website where you could build a virtual avatar, buy things from shops, and even potentially meet friends in. Dude, the original cryptocurrency, right? No. That makes no sense. The process. Katie Wayne, or Boxy as she was known in Gaia Online, would meet two seemingly insignificant individuals on the forum by the name oh, of he's hot. Or Awesome and Ant. And after conversing with them on the forum for some time, she decided she would make each of them a personal video message. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I was too <laughs> busy making Addy a video. I love you guys. Oh God, the cringe of the conversation. Oh, hey guys, I didn't see- Dude, she talks like minx. Blech. Guys, I'ma go get dressed and showered and try to look super pretty and take pictures. I'll get Ant's video done today, for sure. KK, bye. Please PM me. These videos would appear on her Ugh. YouTube channel in the few days following. I decided that I was going to make videos for people. And the first one was for my friend, Admiral Awesome. And now this one is for Ant. And throughout the two videos, Boxy displayed a personality that can only be described as bizarre. A bit no, it can also be described as cringe. It was strange ramblings, mannerisms, and when mixed with her borderline emo physical appearance, the video stood out as incredibly unique. However, as you might assume from what we've discussed, the intention was never for anyone besides Ant and Addy to watch these videos, and that's how it would remain for the entire year of 2008, until something strange would happen. The weird parts of the internet got a hold of the videos. No! In the 11 months between January and December of 2008, Boxy's videos were viewed by less than 20,000 people. And as time progressed, there was nothing that might have indicated that her viewership would begin to dramatically increase. However, all the on the 27th founder. of December 2008, the video would be anonymously embedded onto another forum by the name of IamBored.com with the goal of sharing her bizarre and borderline oh, cringy wait. person. I remember that forum. Personality. Users on IamBored.com would share the sentiment that Boxy Babe was an absolute nutbag, stating, What the drat? This is the worst dratting video I have ever seen on this site. Holy poo. In the entire four to five years I've been on here, this has got to be the worst thing I have ever seen. Holy it has poo. no point. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is terrible. She sounds like she has multiple personalities. I think I finally have hearing aids. After the two videos were posted to the IamBored.com forum, the ratings over on YouTube would drop dramatically to between two oh, and come on. Five. Stars Man. each, displaying the negative attitude that forum users had towards Boxy's personality. Following this, Boxy's two innocuous video shoutouts would be shared to 4chan's B forum, embedded uh -oh. in a you rage you lose thread, challenging users to watch the full video without getting annoyed. Would Boxy once again receive an absolute hiding from 4chan with regards to her annoying personality? Well, yes, but at the same time, no. As this time around, many Wait. users actually shared a rather different opinion. I'm 23 and I would marry her anytime. I Wait, is this your 16? Oh. I would divorce my beautiful 26-year-old wife so I could marry Boxy. I need to find me a Boxy. Numerous individuals over on 4chan began to take a liking to Boxy for her attractive appearance. Honestly, dude, chat, that's old for people on the B forum. So I'm gonna and be real with you. Personality, ultimately leading to numerous questions surrounding who this girl actually was. Users began to repost her face all over the site, hoping that someone might know who she actually was. As she became more and more recognizable on the website, the demand for finding out who she was became greater and greater. She would eventually be crowned the Queen of B, and it seems like a large majority of 4chan had a bit of an internet crush on her. My dearest mm. grandchild, let me tell you a story of the first simp queen of the internet. 
that. Children simp over Belle Delphine, men simp over Boxy. This woman had a rally of simps before the term simp even was made. That's true. But while most found her to be cute, there was still the fair share of forum users who found her to be annoying and childish. Additionally, many were getting annoyed that they couldn't go anywhere on the beloved forums without seeing Boxy's face, and a strange tribal type war broke out between those who loved Boxy and those who hated her. What a war. The event would eventually come to be known as the 4chan Civil War of 2009. As the craziness escalated, it was clear that something needed to be done. Approximately a week and a half into the Boxy explosion on both ironboard.com and 4chan, Boxy herself would address the public, uploading a YouTube video on the 9th of January 2009 titled For Everyone from Boxy. My name is Boxy. Oh my and, god. Um, <laughs> it's been so a much. while since I made a new video, so I decided that because of recent events. This is what Mitch wants to go back to. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm so over this shit. So I could make a new video. This video addressed some of the insane rumors ah! spreading throughout the various forums. I don't do drugs. Mm -mm. No, I know that you all think that I do drugs, but I don't. Actually. And once again displayed Boxy with her. Anyone who has that like I'm cool and cute personality always did like always had to tell you that they don't do drugs. I'm naturally weird. Oh, ugh over-the-top insane rambling type personality. 4chan was covered with the video from the second it was posted to YouTube. And after 12 hours, it had racked up a whopping 70,000 views. Oh Within 24 God. hours, it had racked up 300,000 views. And Chat, at a zero, that's what it's like nowadays. Like, literally at a zero. This was like, it, it was huge. After a week, the video had gained a massive 1.2 million views, an incredible number for YouTube in early 2009. The Boxy Babe channel had gained 24,000 subscribers subscribers from the video, which made it the most subscribed channel for the month of January 2000. That's nuts, dude. That's crazy that that's it nowadays. I get over 24,000 subscribers a month nowadays. Nine. Overall, Boxy had gone from a relative nobody in mid-December 2008 to an online celebrity by mid-January 2009. Pretty cool, huh? Only 30 days later. However, for many, what they had learned about Boxy so far was simply not enough. She had addressed both her fans and haters with this Blah. third video, but the viewers still wanted to know more about the identity of the girl behind the Boxy channel. For this reason, a vigilante group of 4chaners would launch a creepy stalker project by the name of Operation Valkyrie. Huh? The goal was to hack Boxy's YouTube, Facebook, Photo Bucket, Gaia Online, and MySpace page and identify the individual behind the channel. A few insignificant photos were found. However, as a whole, the operation was somewhat of a failure. That would be until weeks later. Oh, another group cringe. of around 11 members who called themselves the Center for Boxy Control and Restriction, or CBCR, would attempt to dox Boxy once again. After some further searching, members of the group would find an old video from 2006 posted by an individual That's resembling Mitch. Boxy on a channel held under under the name of Satisfaction. I'm gonna try to climb that fence over there and it's kind of dark so I don't think you can see it. By comparing both the face and voice of the girl in the video, they quickly realized that this was Boxy, who no identified herself as a girl named Katie. Hi, my name is Katie. And also included her nationality. I'm Greek, dude, I know, it freaked me out too. The channel that the video was posted on was linked to a MySpace page stating that Boxy was 16 years old and was from California. Throughout and that's the process, where it ended. the 11 members were also able to crack Boxy's password to her YouTube channel. Yikes. And coming from a point of hate, would private the three Boxy videos, replacing them with a single video titled Dear Boxy, stating that if she were to upload any more videos, they would leak her personal information to the internet. The event would prompt even news outlets to get involved, publishing stories such as Voxy Boxy's proxy I never war, knew this. stating one side determined to marry her and the other to wipe her out. Eventually, the hackers of her YouTube channel became self-aware of the damage being done to the girl and would give the channel back to Boxy, stating that her video videos were annoying and affecting many people throughout the internet, however she definitely doesn't deserve to have her life ruined. Boxy nice. now had her channel back and was free to make videos once again, but her motive for doing so was now in question, as the whole thing had certainly warned Boxy about the dangers of having a public persona. Possibly as a result of this realisation, Boxy would then disappear completely. In March 2010, Erlesk would rank her iconic video at number 104 on its list of 100 most iconic internet videos, however Boxy would never discuss such a ranking. Forums continue continued dedicated to their love for Boxy, but Katie herself would never acknowledge any of them. It seemed as though Boxy had completely Chan? disappeared, leaving many people asking what had happened to Boxy. 
Well, after two years, that question would finally be answered. During her break while keeping a relatively low profile, Boxy had created a second channel by the name of A New Hope in late 2010. She would then upload an update video titled Things Are About To Get Intense in January 2011. We're gonna make a new video and I was like, maybe, maybe not, who knows, that's the fun. Approximately two Wait, years after Greek? the iconic 4chan war that had made her so famous in the first place. Included in this update video were multiple motives for why Boxy had disappeared initially, citing unnecessary hate as one of the main reasons. People would just be saying like these really mean, awful things about me and I was like, oh. And I didn't really want to be there because I felt really, you know, hated. Regardless of the hate, Katie would return to the Boxy Babe channel with a video All of right. course Vetlana from Boxy, approximately two and a half years after her initial explosion. Okay, hi, my name is Boxy and um, I was just a surfing it's not the same. It's not the same. I didn't want to see your room. Don't do this. This is not the same. I didn't ask for this. However, the issue was that after two and a half years, Boxy's meme status had declined dramatically and her videos would get fewer and fewer views. Additionally, much of Boxy's magic was embedded in the fact that she was kind of mysterious and people always wanted to know more about her. So as she uploaded more and more videos to the Boxy Babe channel, she became more familiar to everyone and the magic surrounding her mysteriousness began to dissipate. Viewers could also feel the authenticity falling out of every single video. In the beginning it was quirky because you could tell that she was genuinely just this overly excited girl in her late teens who was acting the way she was in order to avoid the awkwardness associated with sending a video to another stranger on the internet. But as time progressed the character felt more and more forced, like she was simply trying to appease the audience. Boxy would post her final video to the Boxy Babe channel on the 10th of January 2014, leaving the 10 videos on there as an ode to internet history. She's so Boxy cringe. Yeah, I mean like in her time when she did this dude, it wasn't cringe. This was like peak uwu. Like everyone was all about it. Yeah, it, this was like the best. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, ting, ting. This was the best shit ever, man. But like even just two years on the internet, the internet changed so much in those two years that this was considered cringe. It was considered weird that we started to like devolve from this like kind of like style of like the Mitch Jones era and we moved on continue to upload videos on the A New Hope channel with various personal pieces of content, but they were never the same as those uploaded to the Boxy channel. So I was kicking around some holiday video ideas. The viewership dwindled as time progressed, and on the 5th of June 2017, Katie or Boxy would upload her final ever YouTube video titled What It's Like To Be A YouTuber, explaining why she no longer had any interest in being a content creator. The video included points such as an excessive amount of hate. They hate you. They hate everything about you. The fact that there's no money in YouTube. There's no money in YouTube, at least for me. That YouTube wasn't something she even wanted to do anymore. If YouTube was what I wanted to do, but it's not. It never was. And finally that she simply no longer had the time to make any videos. I don't have time to do this thing that ultimately makes me miserable. And this was kind of the end of Boxy's YouTube journey. She had I mean, being a girl is not as easy as people perceive. I do feel like it's, it is very difficult if you can't deal with hate to be a girl on the internet, uh, especially one like Boxy, because she was like considered pretty, she was literally like the Pokemon before Pokemon. She was like, I mean, you either fucking hated her guts or you wanted to marry her in five minutes. Hasn't uploaded a single video since this one almost four years later. However, that wouldn't be the end for Boxy. In 2017, she landed a role voicing a character on the Disney show. What? Additionally, Boxy's voice would be featured on a game titled Boxy Quest, which attempted to satirize various aspects of internet culture. More recently, and most interestingly, Katie <laughs> Wayne, aka Boxy, would put up the original For Everyone From Boxy video up for sale as an NFT to her Twitter page. It was stated that the winner of the auction will get to take home a piece of internet history. No and way. after four days of bidding, five head, I would do the same thing. An individual by the name of Doe would successfully purchase the NFT for a price of $26,425. Nice. Boxy's story as a whole is a reminder that even the most unassuming individuals can get caught up in the craziest scenarios, occasionally when it's completely out of their control. And as displayed in Boxy's final video, being given the burden of fame doesn't necessarily mean you'll be able to handle the negatives that come with it. Boxy stated that in the beginning, the fame was a negative, but by the end, it had given her everything she ever wanted. So what happened to Boxy? Well, seems like everything seemed to work out for her just fine. I don't really think it ended out just fine. She got massive amounts of hate and made no money from it and was probably fucking pissed off, dude. It didn't seem like the greatest time in the world to me.